Hi guys, sorry about that. I'm having major issues with my phone. It's a brand new phone. I don't understand what's wrong, but I can't do videos for longer than certain minutes and it anyway cuts off. So let me just get into this real quick. So these are the ones that I made that you guys saw. Um, unfortunately, you didn't see me taking them out, but this is how they came out. I haven't touched them yet. I just wanted to show you exactly how they pop out so that you can see them. Um, yeah, like, see, remember when I was telling you, if you find a hole, make sure to fill it in. So I could use it, but this would drive me nuts. So you see how it's lumpy here, which isn't a big deal. And I'll show you, you can do that, but because this is so much thinner, it kind of slopes off and then there's a dent here. So it doesn't look right. And then right over here as well. So you got to try to be super careful. Now this one, I didn't fill all the way to the top. I just wanted to see how it would come out and it actually came out pretty darn good. Um, so what you'll see here is I try, I don't know if this is going to work guys, but I also use the glitter so you guys could see how the glitter works. And here the, there's glitter with black and I did find brown. There was brown in one of the, um, one of these packages. So I did a tray, not a whole tray, but I did all of these in brown. Here's like a marble brown effect. Um, and then here is some glitter. And as you can see, this looks very cloudy. That's because these are dry and these are still drying. So we'll get into all that. So these are the ones that we did together in the first one. And the way I clean it up, honestly, is I just go around it and cut it. Of course, if I had scissors that worked, <laughs> the cut process would be much easier. But yeah, so that's it. I just go around. I just don't want to get it in the, the wet um, glue, the pieces that I cut off. So again, you just kind of go around take off the pieces and the bips and the bobs that you don't want or don't need. I'm going to actually just cut this whole thing right here because there we go. doesn't look like right anyway. So there's that one. Now this, I think this one came out so beautiful. This is the two toned. It was white and purple. Well, there was a little bit of pink, then it became purple. Then I went into white. So I love the way this came out. Um, but you see all of the, the yuckies. So again, you just go around. I mean, this is what I do. I don't know if this is, oops, right, wrong. I have no idea, but I know that it works for me. <laughs> and it's quick, it's easy, and I like it. So this is the way I do it. Um, you guys, obviously, if you're going to try this, you can do it any way you want. And if you find a better way or a way that you think works better for you, then by all means have at it, but let me know so I could try it. <laughs> So there's that one. And that, like, again, this one I really can't use um, just because it's so damaged because of like it, it dipped down. So I can't make it a charm because who the hell is going to want to look at that? So that's kind of like a dead piece to me. Unfortunately, the worst part about this is it would be great if I could like reheat it and reuse it. But unfortunately, I can't like, yeah, see, look at this one. Like I can't use that as a charm or put a a key ring on it or anything or just because it looks so bad right there so again that's another one and like I said you guys are going to go through your process you're going to have good ones you're going to have bad ones you're going to have ones that you can use ones that you can't use ones that you just don't care about and use it anyway and that's fine too um this one actually came out pretty good so it's pretty even all the way around I just got to get these little bips and bobby pieces off but that looks awesome so I can use that one. This one, uh, again, I mean, it's not too, too bad. And honestly, if I decided to keep it and use it, I would probably um, put the hole right here so you can't see that indent and then, you know, make that part the keychain. So that's actually doable. I'm going to keep that one. This one is a hot mess, as you can see. Um, yeah, that's not, that's not even doable. Oh, and this is the one that I wanted to show you. Remember I said, so looking at it this way is fine, but there's no way to cut it up without destroying it. So that's no good. I can't use that at all. Um, this one, uh, I think if I clean it up in the right way, oh, as I, 
pieces kind of go all over the place. Um, yeah, that's doable. I can use that one. This one, yeah, if I clean it up, this is pretty good. Um, oh, and then like when it's too high in the back, you just take your scissors, honestly, and shave it. Like cut it down, <laughs> literally. Um, this one's actually pretty good too. So I think I'm going to keep that one. So this isn't a complete total loss. This is actually pretty good. I love the way this one came out. I really do. And I love this one. This one looks great too. So, and I don't have to cut anything on that one, thank God. And this one, just again, go around and cut the pieces. This is going to take me a while, so I'll do this off of camera. All right, so now I want to pop these out and show you. These are going to get thrown away, so let me do that right now, which is a shame because I love the pink and the white, but if you can't use it, you can't use it. All right, so I tried the butterflies. I did these, so let's pop these out. Some of them are going to be good. Like, look at that. I can't use that. That's garbage. Like, it. it's just, it's so bad. <laughs> But, oh my gosh, look at that one. That's pretty cool. So that is definitely a keeper. Um, I'll try to fix it. Oh, this is so cool. That looks like that milk chocolate. Oh, oh these came out good. Okay, so again, just take it and cut your little bobs off. Guys, this takes like not a lot of time at all. Your biggest thing is just learning your glue gun, learning how much, like look at how great that one looks. That looks fantastic. Oh my gosh, these came out so good. Um, learning your hot glue gun and trying to get it in there at the same time so that you don't have like dried and then wet and you know what I'm saying? Because I think that messes with it too. But for the most part, these are pretty smooth on the bottom. So I think I'm going to be okay with these. Again, I'll have to clean them up a little bit. But yeah, I could definitely, definitely use these. These really came out great. And then the ones that aren't so great, obviously, I don't use. <laughs> um, I mean, some you could just kind of like rip off the side. But I mean, they need to be cleaned up a little. So I will definitely do that. But look at how easy they just pop right out. Look at that. Oh, that one's awesome. <laughs> now, this one has a little bit of the glitter and the um, brown. So you can see that and that, and then you're going to start noticing it more and more as we go down. That's just all brown though. So that came out really good. That one came out good. And again, they just pop right out and they look so realistic. Now I will say the one thing that I don't like about the glitter is how, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like fuzzy and unclear it dries. Like I really, I don't like it at all that drives me nuts. And it's, it's not opaque. Um, it's another thing that I cannot stand. Like this side's great, but you don't show that side. This is not the side that you use and it's still drying. So it'll get much, much cloudier. That's the word I was looking for. Cloudy. Um, like if it stayed this color, that would be fantastic, but it doesn't. And the more that, like I said, the more that it dries, the duller and cloudier it gets. So this is all the Dollar Tree um, yeah, see like now this one I can't use because that's such a dip right there that even if I put, um, I don't know. Let me see. Um, also you could try, I know I tried it. It didn't work out all of that great, but, um, you could try like Maj Podge or glossy accents to light, like not lighten it up, but, um, so it's not so cloudy and dingy looking, you know what I mean? Um, Maybe just put like a a little layer on the top, let it dry and, you know, see how it goes. Okay, so let's try these. I didn't fill these up all the way because I didn't want to waste the glue, but look, that doesn't need to be filled up all the way. That is absolutely adorable. Love that. <laughs> I definitely have to clean up the sides, but I can do that very easily. And then look at this one. Oh love these. Oh my gosh. I love these. <laughs> All right. And then here we have the chocolate ones. They came out just as cute. And then this is the black. Oh my God. This looks so awesome. This is the black with a little bit of the, um, red glitter in it. And if when you, I don't know if you, you're going to see it on camera, but here it picks up the sparkle. That is so cool. Again, I have to clean up the sides, but all right, now let's see how these came out. Actually, this one was the very, oh, this is still a little warm, but how cool. This is the gold glitter with some of the black. <laughs> these are 
are flipping awesome. I absolutely love these. These came out super, super, super cool. I am loving this. All right, again, I'm going to have to go around and cut that, you know, make it right. But look at how cool that is. Oh my gosh, like for Halloween, like how great would these both be? All right, now these, I don't, I don't know if this is going to work, but yeah. Oh, maybe. Oh my gosh, guys, look, it did work. Oh my God, how cool is that? I was just playing around. I wanted to see if it would like actually work. I really didn't think it was going to, but it actually did. So I made my own little design. <laughs> I can't wait to see this one. This is the black and the red one. Oh my gosh, guys. Like, look at how cool that is. And just playing around for a few minutes, that's what you get. The black and the rhinestone. And can you imagine, like, leaving this the black and dull and then putting the glossy accents just on this part right here? Oh my goodness, that's amazing. And then this one is just the whole thing is red. OMG. Okay, so we just have the... Um, butterflies to check out and then we're done and again i didn't fill these all the way up i don't even know if they're going to come out <laughs> to be honest now that i'm thinking about well maybe oh they came out good again i just have to clean up the back side because it's a, a hot mess but as soon as i do that look you can even just like pull it <laughs> but look at how cute they look like um bows like butterfly bows you know what i mean <laughs> all right let's see if we can get these out without killing them Oh my gosh, guys, these came out absolutely better than I had hoped. I mean, you could fill them all the way up, but to me, that's like, I don't, I didn't even fill them halfway and look at how much glue I used just for that. So I, yeah, that to me, that's a waste, but if that's what you like and you want to do that, look at the gold one. Oh, look at how cute. Again, I have to clean up the, the backside and make it even so it sits nice. This one I filled up all the way. I just wanted to see. Um, but yeah, like, look at all that. That's, that's crazy. That's like an inch and a half thick. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't need all that. That's, that's insanity, but it's super adorable and it's cute, but these are just as cute and they're not as thick. This one I really screwed up. So I don't know how this is going to look. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. It's the gold and the white. Eh, it's doable. Like I'll clean it up and see what it looks like. But so that's it guys. That that's everything. And honestly, with both sets, what I did with you, I honestly just waited for the others to dry and did these real quick and came back on. So I would say sitting here for a half hour, this is everything that I made with a, a hot glue gun and some hot glue sticks. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Let me know what you guys think down below. I love it. I have so much fun doing these. Um, it's very gratifying and it, it's very, um, I don't know. It just, it brings out something in me. It's a new obsession. So I love it. Absolutely love it. I want to get my hands on more molds, but you know, in time, because I'm not going to buy them unless they're on sale and really, really cheap. <laughs> so there, <laughs> but yeah, so these are my, um, my molds and this is what I made and let me know what you guys think do you like this process is it something that you would try have you tried it do you do this um let me know I would love to know because I didn't even know this stuff existed or that you can do this I didn't even know I mean I knew that they had these but I had no idea they had actual colored glue sticks who knew that <laughs> I'm sure all of you did but I didn't so now I'm gonna sit here and I am gonna cut my little heart out and get these as flat as I can and as even as I can. And yeah, so again, I hope you guys have a great night and I will see you hopefully in my next video. Again, let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification so that they will let you know when I have another video up. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.